Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 20 years. Today, I'm going to discuss the topic employability. In a simple way, employability means your ability to get jobs, isn't it? Now, having qualification is obviously not the quality of employability. A lot of their other qualities are very much important and plays a great role. Rather, qualification is less important for getting employability. Now, in employability, there are, is a, is a you know, untapped area that I can say. What I mean, like, you know, the, those candidates who are coming for interview to get a job, they are not up to the mark. So, those who are up to the mark, the organization is taking them. Those who are not up to the mark, nobody is taking care of them. An institution has created those, you know, these uh, level of the students. So it is basically area which is not getting addressed. Because every organization wants ready-made people. And they are expecting that after passing out, the, uh, passing out from institution, student, uh, no, the students will be readily deliverable to the industry. There are four areas. One is uh, those who will be getting the jobs, the institution, the government, and the job provider. This four has a great role to play in these areas. You know, as per statistics, it is said that in India, 3% MBAs are employable only. 97% MBAs are underemployable. You know? Today, you know, the MBAs are doing security guard jobs of payment range say 15,000 rupees per month so if so quality of the education is very very important also 10% engineer are employable today in India as per statistics say and 17% graduate on an average for the other you know sciences commerce all together is employable so on an average say 80 to 85 percent pass out students are not employable in India. This is the present scenario and this is a very untapped area which needs to be addressed. You know when a person is employable if you say in a reality you can say that he should have a necessary soft skill to function in an office environment or corporate environment, you could say. He should have the ability to maintain and retain his job. It's not that somehow he got chance in the organization for the jobs and then you know, someone else will take care. He has to perform and retain his jobs. That's very important and benefit himself and the society through these jobs. That, that's what you can say employability. Now, I'll share some statistical data, you know, or you can say that taken vote from the people, the concerned people of the group, and data is saying in India the education and employability link. People say 60% is linked, 40% is not linked. And if you say the assessment, like someone has got passed with 85%, 90% in uh, you know, this uh, graduation or master degree and they are not, the standard is very below actually what is expected in the industry. Then there is a big question about the assessment process of the colleges and universities, isn't it? So it says that 52% people are agree. That assessment is okay, rest 48% people say the present assessment process in university and colleges are wrong actually. It is not linked with the what is needed in industry or where they will be getting jobs. And also the technology which are presently be taught are available in institution and what is in industry, there is a huge gap. So after going through those from any this uh, institution, when they are coming into this industry, they, they find there is a mismatch. So technological gap, 38% people is agree. And employment is obviously there is a 
gap actually. Now, so for employability, you need basically four things. One is knowledge, one is education, one is skill, and another is ability. A lot of you know other qualities are very important, which are not addressed in you know colleges and every, uh, other uh, institution actually, but which is needed. And today, as I say, the 3% MBAs are employable, 10% engineers are employable, 15% graduates are employable. Then, this under employability is a much bigger problem than employment. Today, there may not be, you know, job is not creating, so people are not getting jobs. But even job is created, people are incapable to serve or deliver. So that's a big problem actually. So, you know, when uh, organizations select person, you know, for their organization, what they look for, actually, not the certificate or qualification or the marks. <clears throat> because, say, for a post of an engineer, obviously, every candidate will be engineer, isn't it? And if you see the marks, so everybody will have a 70 to 90 percent mark in Berlin. So basically, qualification or certificate is not a, a differentiator, you can say. You are at a lot of soft skill at the differential, basically. Your attitude towards the world and you know, other uh, you know, internal qualities, that are the actually, you know, you reach for employability or the employer is looking for you'll, you'll see in many uh, all newspaper and everyone you'll find that this 20 percent people 17 percent students are you know there's only um employable rest are not employable their uh, quality is not up to the mark you'll find the, the, a lot of you know big HR uh, leaders are saying this we, we are, are taking a lot of initiative for improving skills and all these things you know they're doing, people are, you know, taking a lot of initiative for a skill development, but that's not enough, actually. This skill which are needed to deliver the jobs in the industry, that should be an integrated part of the course. It is not that after passing out for the main course, they will learn some skill development, some soft skill. It's not, it shouldn't like that, actually. It should be integrated things into the course, actually. Then you don't need additional skill development courses the engineering course or graduation course or other business course that should be such that it is very close to the requirement of the industry actually and you know many organization also find that four person is doing one person's job it can be done by one person this is because the people are inefficient that's why actually uh, you'll find in many countries, uh, I've seen in Germany when I used to work there, say, I'm talking about the workshop environment. Say one welder doing some welding jobs, a lot of companies are putting together doing welding. Everything for a single workstation is done by a single welder. You'll find in Indian manufacturing culture, manual work is there. There is a one senior welder, then one junior to helper person. So everywhere there is a one, you know, skilled person along with that two unskilled person. So, so this is actually the question of, you know, this output and capability. So this type of working culture needs to be, you know, it's not, uh, today it's not a uh, you know, competitive actually, as I can say. And if you find this total uh, statistics for, you know, employment, will find more than 50 percent is jobs are uh, general sales and marketing jobs and bpa jobs so th this is not very attractive actually you know after passing out a lot of uh, special courses if people need to join in bpus and all these things so what is the use of actually you know, I know many people even they are doing a lot of master degrees in microbiology and all these things and now they are working in BPO's, even engineers are working in BPO's, call centers, a plus two student or a student plus team who can speak good English can work in BPO's. What is the need of doing after doing master degrees and all these things? Because 
there are two things. One is, I uh, know, there's organizations and government or industry is not able to create good jobs and people are passing out day by day and the quality of the education is also deteriorated because these, well, the education is also in some directions going up business actually. And if, if you find that, you know, this, uh, how much additional job is creating every year on an average it is one person only and how much student is passing out every year so that is always a mismatch between the demand and supply when less demand supplies more so day by day this unemployment is getting increased this is a big problem for the countries unless there are two things one is government needs to create a lot of you know, jobs through industrialization a massive industrialization and education level also needs to be improved. You'll find that the least employable engineers are passing out in India from Tamil Nadu. You'll find in South India hundreds of engineering institutions, both sides of the road. If you drive for 500 kilometers, surely you'll get 10 engineering colleges left, right. And there is no a single, uh, you know, boys in, in a family of South India who has not you know, passed out engineering. But what is the use of that if the you know this, uh, quality of education is such and after passing out people are not getting jobs. But there are industries where there is a lot of you know employment is getting increased. The compounded annual growth is very much like you know healthcare industry is improving like anything. So a lot of people are getting jobs in healthcare and rust. If I uh, conclude this uh, presentation on the employability, global employability status is what say actually. Because uh, last 10-15 minutes I'm talking about India's employability conditions. So what about the conditions for the rest of the world? Let's have a look on the graph. Here in US, the 40% people pass out is, you know, employable and you'll find in Germany, then UK, then Canada, then China, then French, France and then Australia. After that, turn come of India. It means highest employability of the graduate is 40 percent in us and in india it is 17 percent as of day so this needs to be you know improved a lot so we find this presentation is informative and interesting and important you can share with your friends or especially those who work into these you know employment uh, in different uh, areas they're working and uh, if you have not yet subscribed my youtube channel you can subscribe my channel so that you can get the notification for my upcoming presentation thank you very much for your attention and time